Assalamu alaikum. My dear student of Tasur, I hope you all are safe and sound by the grace of Almighty Allah and Alhamdulillah, I am also fine. So here I am your father of this year from Sector 4 branch of Malistan Period KG School. So here I am coming with another class. Today uh, this is our class number 49. Okay? And we will also discuss from chapter 1. So before going to discuss our today's lecture, I will take a short feedback on your previous class. Okay? So my dear student, at first I will take a short feedback on your previous class. So in our previous class, we have discussed from chapter 1, that is Iman and Akaid. And here we have learned a short question and matching. So now at first I will discuss the short question from your previous class. So now if I ask you, uh, what does Iman Mufassal mean? So what should be the answer? So let's see. Iman means to believe and Mufassal means to be detailed. Then Iman Mufassal means to believe in detail. So if you all understand the answer of this question, I hope you all know that answer. Let's see our second question. What is the first aspect of Iman? What is the first aspect of Iman? I hope you all know that answer. So let's see. Iman Mubassal, we believe in seven aspects. First aspect of Iman is faith in Allah the Great. So what is the first aspect of Iman? That is faith in Allah the Great. Okay. Uh, our next question is write the names of four famous an angels. Write the names of four famous angels. So what should be the answer? Let's see. So angels are the special creations of Allah the Great. Name of four famous angels that is Hajjur Jibreel Salam. Hazrat Mikhail Salam, Hazrat Azrael Salam, and Hazrat Israfil Salam. So they are our four famous angels. Or if you all know that answer. Let's see our next question. What are the duties of Hazrat Azrael Salam? So the question. What are the duties of Hazrat Azrael Salam? So let's see the answer. Hazrat Azrael alayhi salam is one of the famous four angels. He takes away the souls of all living creatures by the command of Allah. So that means the duty of Hazrat Azrael alayhi salam is to take away the soul of all living creatures by the command of Allah. Our next question. Let's see. Who are Munkar Nakir? Who are Munkar Nakir. So you also know that answer. So let's see that answer. There are angels called Munkar Nakir. They will ask questions about Allah, Rasul, and religion in the graveyard. So who are Munkar Nakir? There are angels called Munkar Nakir. They will ask questions about Allah, Rasul, and religion in the graveyard. That means when you will die, that our first step of Akhara is grave. And here, the angels called Munkan Nakir, they will ask our ask question about Allah, Rasul, and religion. Okay? So, if you all understand. Let's see our next question. Who keeps the records of good and bad habit? Who keeps the records of good and bad habit? So I hope you all know that answer. So let's see. There is a group of angels who keep the records of good action and bad action of human beings. They are called the honorable writer. So who are they? There is a group of angels who keep the records of good action and bad actions of human beings. So if you do the good deeds or bad deeds, there are a group of angels who keep the record and they are called the honorable writers. They are called honorable writers. 
so if you all understand all the sqa what i have been discussed from our previous class okay if you all understand okay my dear student so now we're going to start our today's lecture so everyone please take your pen and copy and get ready for our today's lecture so in our today's lecture we'll discuss from um, chapter one but we'll discuss today create a question and fill in the blanks from chapter one okay so everyone please get ready and give your attention in our today's lecture okay so let's go for our today's lecture so my dear student our today's topic is also from chapter one our chapter one name is Himanon Akai and from chapter one today we are going to discuss CBQ that means creative based question and FB that means fill in the blanks so my dear student today we will discuss creative based question and fill in the blanks from chapter one so at first let's uh, see the what are the learning outcome of this lecture so from the students lecture students will able to explain the aspects of Iman and also uh, to able to solve the fill in the blanks of this chapter one and also they are able to write the answer of creative based question so my dear student that means uh, if you do this lecture today you that is this are your learning outcome okay so now uh, before going to discuss our today's lecture at first i wanna discuss chapter one at a glance okay so let's see so in chapter one you have learned iman and mufassal that means detail faith so iman mufassal means to believe in detail uh, to believe in the basic aspects of Islam in detail is called Iman Muhassal. So there are some basic aspects of Islam to believe in this aspect in detail that is called Iman Muhassal. So what is Iman Muhassal? Let's recite. Uh, Iman Muhassal. Aman tu bilwahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wal yomil akhiri wal qadri khairihi wa sharrihi min allah ta'ala wal basi ba'd al maut meaning of iman mufassal i have faith in allah his angels his revealed books and his rasuls i also have faith in the day of of judgment in the goodness and the badness of faith and in the life after death Okay, so that's the meaning of Iman Muhassal. I hope you all know that meaning. So, in Iman Muhassal, we believe in seven aspects. These are, number one, Allah. Number two, angels. Number three, Kitab, that means the rebuilt heavenly book of Allah. Number four, that means Rasuls, or the messenger of Allah. Number five, in the day of judgment. Number six, faith, that means takdir. Number seven, life after death or resurrection. So in this seven aspect, we have believed in Iman Mufassal. I hope you all know all this seven aspect. So let's discuss all the aspect in detail. So the, so the first aspect of Iman, that is faith in Allah, the great. We believe in Allah, that he is one and unique. And he has no partner so that means Allah is one and unique and he has no partner okay and he is also unique and uncomparable in his attributes so if I hope you all know that there are so many beautiful attributes name of Allah so we cannot compare anyone with his attributes and with his power he is eternal and infinite Allah is eternal and infinite When everything will be destroyed, only he will exist here. So one day, in the time of Kiyama, Allah SWT will destroy all the creatures. Only Allah will exist here. 
and he has created everything of the earth and heaven so whatever in the heaven and whatever in the earth everything created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is the cherisher and sustainer of all creatures that means Allah is the cherisher and sustainer of all creature okay I for understand he is the most gracious and master of everything he is the most gracious and he is the master of everything okay so I have all understand the first aspect of Iman okay and we should have faith in Allah as a Mumin Muslim so if you all understand that that first aspect now the second aspect of Iman is belief in the angels so what are the angels I think you all know that they are made of Noor they are made of Noor they engage themselves in different work by the command of Allah so these angels are engage themselves in the different works by the command of Allah and they never disobey Allah's order they always follow the order of Allah they do not need for eating and drinking as a human being or as other creatures they need eat and drink but the angels they didn't need and they don't need for eating and drinking the remembrance of Allah is their livelihood that what is the livelihood the remembrance of Allah and nobody knows about their number except Allah so we don't know about the how many num how many angels are there that's why we don't know their number except Allah that means only Allah knows their actual number how many angels are there but uh, among all the angels there are four angels are famous they are Hazrat Jibreel Salam, Hazrat Mikael Salam, Hazrat Azar Salam, and Hazrat Israfil Salam. so these four famous angels they have four different duties okay so if you all understand the second aspect of Iman so as a Mumin Muslim we should have belief also in the second aspect that is the angels if we don't believe that we should we don't be a Mumin Muslim okay now the third aspect of Iman that is belief in Asmani Kitab so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent uh, different ohi in different popular messenger in different time and then ohi means the message of Allah and all the message of Allah are called the Asmani Kitabs and there are 104 Asmani Kitabs among them four are big that is Taurat which revealed on uh, Hajrat Musa salam, Jabur which revealed on Hajrat Dawud salam, Angels which revealed on Hazrat Isa salam, and last and final one the greatest book Quran Majid which revealed on Hazrat Muhammad salam. and in this Quran Majid Allah have uh, given everything for human being how do they how do they, how do they lead, lead their life everything has everything has discussed in Quran Majid okay and this is the final book And also there are the other uh, 100 small books are called Sohifa. Now the fourth aspect of Iman that is belief in the Nabi and Rasul of Allah. Allah sent many Nabi Rasuls in different time. So Allah sent many Nabi Rasuls in different time to teach the human being how do they follow the order of Allah and also the knowledge about Allah Allah sent Wahi for us who just coming to uh, to Nabi and Rasuls so all the message of Allah that comes to the Nabi and Rasul after that uh, uh, the Nabi and Rasul teaches us and Nabi and Rasul are the teacher for the mankind they teaches us how to follow the order of Allah they also teaches us about Allah who is he and about his existence They used to call the man in the path of Allah. They showed mankind the way how to please him. So they also showed us how can we please Allah. 
হজরত আদম আলাইসাল ওয়াজ দ্য ফার্স্ট প্রফিট অ্যান্ড দ্য লাস্ট অ্যান্ড গ্রেটেস্ট প্রফিট অফ গ্রেটেস্ট প্রফিট ওয়াজ হজরত মুসা আলাইসাল্লাম সো দ্য ফার্স্ট প্রফিট দ্যাট ইজ হজরত আদম আলাইসাল্লাম অ্যান্ড দ্য লাস্ট অ্যান্ড গ্রেটেস্ট প্রফিট ওয়াজ হজরত মুসা আলাইসাল্লাম In the Quran Majid, the name of 25 Nabi Rasuls are mentioned. So there are so many Nabi Rasuls, but in the Quran Majid, only 25 Nabi Rasuls are mentioned. So if you all understand, okay? So as a Muslim, we think we must be believe in the Nabi and Rasuls of Allah. The fifth aspect of Iman is belief in the Day of Judgment. So what is the fifth aspect of Iman? That is, belief in the day of judgment so one day all the living creatures have to die and one day our beautiful world will also be destroyed nothing will exist here except allah alone so allah will exist here and everything will be destroyed a life after death is called life hereafter or akhirat so the moon muslim we also have to believe in the day of judgment And this life begins after death. So the life of Akira this begins after death. And that the graveyard, doomsday, that means Kiamat, Hashur, Jannat and Jahannam, all this are included in the life of Akira. So all these stages are included in the life of Akira. So also have to believe in that as a moving Muslim. The great Allah says, short in the enjoyment of this world, the hereafter is better and more enduring so our uh, the our life in this earth is so short but the life of akhirat is so enduring is better so if you do the good works we can enjoy that life if you do the bad works we will suffer in that life so as a mumin muslim as we have iman we should have belief in the fifth aspect of iman that is belief in the day of judgment So I hope you all understand. The sixth aspect of Iman is belief in Taqdeer. So what is Taqdeer? Taqdeer means the fate which is, which is controlled by Allah the Great. So whatever happens in our future, everything Allah knows. And everything is controlled by Allah the Great. Whatever happens in our life and in this world comes about by the definite order of Allah. So according to the order of Allah, everything is happening in our life. And this precision of Allah is called Taqdeer. And as a Muslim, Muslim, we need to believe in this Taqdeer, in the sixth aspect of Iman. And we shall be grateful to Him, we are successful. That means, if we are successful in our work, we should be grateful to Allah. And we shall be patient if we are failure and accept it as a Taqdeer. If we do, if we... Uh, do something but if we get failure the time we should accept that as a takdir and to believe in takdir doesn't make him an idol but makes him delighted for the hope so if you believe in takdir you always will be delighted for the hope for betterment so as a moment we should believe in that we should believe in takdir the final and seventh aspect of iman is belief in the life hereafter so we know that that is not our final destination whatever works we do in this world we shall be liable for them in the hereafter so that means in this world whatever work we do is even uh, is uh, it is uh, good work or bad works we have to liable for that if you will be raised in the hasher after they are alive So in the Hashir, we, if we, we will raise again, we will get alive again by the order of Allah. And here will be judgment for us. So judgment will be there, upper detail, reckoning and witness. And judgment will be after, uh, will be there, upper detail, reckoning, witness, we know that. And Allah, the Almighty will be the just. So here Allah, the Almighty will be the just. And the heaven will be given as a reward for good deeds. So if you do the good deeds in this world and their life hereafter will get heaven. But whoever do the sin and bad works will be thrown into the hellfire. 
So we should do the good works to get heaven in the life hereafter and we should refrain from sin. So that is life hereafter. So as a Mormon Muslim we should believe in life hereafter and that will make you stronger. Um, that will make us strong. Okay. And that will make you stronger our Iman. Okay. So as a Mormon Muslim we have to believe in all this aspect of Iman. All these seven aspects of Iman. Okay. So you have to all understand. So my dear students, so I already finished the discussion of our chapter 1. Now, everyone take your copy and write on your copy CW49 in the right corner, right at the state and also in the middle of your copy, write chapter 1, Iman and Akaid, then write to this topic that is Abbian Math, CBQ, that means fill in the blanks and creative based question. Okay, so my dear student, everyone please arrange your copy. Okay. So, my dear student, at first, I will discuss the fill in the blanks. So, please get ready, take your copy and write down this on your copy. So, let's see. So, our first blanks is, uh, dash used to come with Oahi. So, what will the answer here? If you all can give that answer. So, let's see the answer. Hazrat Jibreel Salam used to come with Oahi. Let's see our second one. Tagdir means dash. Tagdir means dash. What should be the answer? It's so easy. I hope you all can give the answer. Okay. Let's see the answer. Tagdir means fate. Tagdir means fate. My next one is nothing will dash here. Dash Allah alone. So if you look at here, there is two blanks. So what should be the answer? Let's see. Nothing will exist here except Allah alone. The answer will be nothing will exist here except Allah alone. Next one. The angels themselves in dash works by the command of Allah. The answer is let's see. The angels themselves in different works by the command of Allah. So the blanks will be different. Next one, Wahi means the matches of dash. It's so easy. If you all can give, give the answer. Let's see. Wahi means the masses of Allah. Wahi means the masses of Allah. Dash punishment. He refrain from bad works. So let's see the answer. Fearing punishment. He refrain from bad works. The answer will be fearing punishment. Okay, our next step is uh, to believe in the dash makes a man responsible. To believe in the dash makes a man responsible. Let's see. To believe in the resurrection makes a man responsible. So to believe in the resurrection makes a man responsible. Next one. Death is not our final dash. What is the answer? It's easy. Death is not our final destination. Okay, the heaven is the place of eternal dash and dash. So here there is also two blanks. What should be the answer? Let's check the answer. Uh, the heaven is the place of eternal peace and happiness. Eternal peace and happiness. Okay, so if you all understand. Next one. Dash was revealed on Hazrat Musa Salam. So let's check the answer. Tawrath was revealed on Hazrat Musa Number 11. Allah is one and dash. What will be the answer? Allah is one and unique. Yes, Allah is one and unique. Next one. Uh, we shall do the good works dash on Allah. What will be the answer? Let's check. We shall do the good works depending on Allah. Okay. So I hope you all understand. Here I have been, I have uh, discussed total two fill in the twelve fill in the blanks. Okay, so these are the sample fill in the blanks. So you should read your book thoroughly. 
so if any type of blanks will came from your reading practice so that you can give the answer okay if you all understand so my dear student now we are going to discuss the creative based question on question from your chapter 1 so let's see what are the question here so our first creative based question is what is iman mufassal write the meaning of iman mufassal this is our first question and our second question is what is akhirat what are the stages that we should believe in akhirat so what is the second question what is akhirat what are the stages that we should believe in akhirat so uh, today uh, this two cpq will discuss today okay so i will understand but remember my dear student these two are just samples uh, pretty based question from chapter one so question me kind for any topic of chapter one that's why you should read all the topic thoroughly so if, if any type of question come so that you can give the answer okay so my dear student give your attention let's discuss these two creative question okay so our first question i will discuss first the question is what is iman mufassal and then write the meaning of iman mufassal so if you see the question there is two part first part is what is iman mufassal here we have to write the answer of this part and second part is write the meaning of iman mufassal this is the second part of this question but my dear student remember one thing when, when we will going to uh, we are going to write the answer of, of any creative based question you have to remember this one you have to finish your answer with three part that is interaction then actual part body part answer then the conclusion so here the first part question is what is iman mufassal so this part will write as introduction of this answer so what is iman mufassal iman mufassal means to believe in detail to believe in the basic aspect of Islam in detail is called Iman Mufassal. So that is the answer of first part. And that answer will write as interaction. Now we're going to the uh, write the answer of body part. So now second part of the question is write the meaning of Iman Mufassal. So this part will write as a body part or actual part answer. So let's see. The meaning of Iman Mufassal that is I have faith in Allah his angels, his revealed books, and his rasuls, that means his messenger. I also have faith in the day of judgment, in the goodness and badness of faith, and in the life here after death. So this meaning of Iman Mufassal is our uh, body part answer or actual part answer. Now we are going to finish this answer with a uh, conclusion. Okay, let's see our conclusion. What is the conclusion? So, to be a Mumin Muslim, we should believe in all aspects of Iman Mubassal in detail. So, here I have write the conclusion in one sentence. So, you have to remember this one. Whenever you write the conclusion, that concluding sentence should be relevant to your answer. You cannot write an irrelevant uh, sentence in this answer. Okay? Always remember this one. And you can write conclusion one or three sentence okay so if you all understand the answer of this question i hope also uh, i hope uh, sure that you also know the how to how can you write or how can you arrange the answer of any creative based question okay so now let's proceed on our second cbq that is uh, what is accurate and then what are the stages that we should believe in accurate so in this question also two part but I think you know that we'll write the answer in a three part. What is that? Introduction part, then body part or actual part, then we'll finish the answer by writing a conclusion. Okay? So I hope you can write the answer by yourself, but let's see the answer of this question. So at first we're going to write the answer of what is accurate, and that is our introduction of this answer. So what is accurate? Look at here. There is another world after death. The life after death is called Akhirat or life hereafter. So this is our introduction part or uh, the answer for is accurate. Now we are going to write the answer in the body part or actual part. And if you look at the second part of the question that is what is the what are the stages that we should believe in accurate. So this answer will write as a 
body for our actual part answer. So let's see. The stages that we should be we should believe in Akira, that is grey beard. So at first we'll discuss the grey beard. This is stage. What is that? So grave is the first stages of Akira. Every human being will go through answer session in the grave. So when you go to the grave that time we have to go through answer session by the angels of Allah. So if we can give the answer, there are three questions we'll ask. If, if you can give this answer rightly, we'll get comfort or we'll get punishment. Next one is Doomsday or Kiyama. A time when Allah will destroy the entire universe and its all the birds is called Doomsday or Kiyama. So one day Allah will destroy everything. Only Allah will exist here. And this day is called Kiyama or Doomsday. Now next stage is Hashar. So one day Allah will resurrect everybody. Long time after the destruction of the universe is called Hashar. And in the Hashar, Allah will Allah the Great will be the just. He will take the accountability of all of our deeds. And he will judge us. Okay. So if our um, good deeds is uh, heavier than our bad deeds that time we will get Jannat or we will get Jahannam if our bad deeds is heavier than our good deeds Jannat so here Jannat will be given as a reward for good deeds and Jannat is a place of eternal peace and happiness so if you do the good deeds in the in the in your uh, worldly life okay that time you will get Jannat Jahannam. So whoever do the sin and bad works will be thrown into the hellfire. And the hellfire is a place of hard punishment and full of sorrows. That means if you do any bad deeds, that time we will be rewarded as a Jahannam. Okay. And we will suffer here. And that has enduring. Okay. So if you all, I hope you all know that. So that are the stages of Akira. Okay. So that's our body photo actual answer. Now we'll finish this answer by writing a beautiful conclusion. So let's see. The life of Akhirat has the beginning, but it has the ending. That life is eternal. The great Allah says, short is the enjoyment of this world. The hereafter is better and more enduring. Okay. So that's our conclusion of this answer. So I hope you, you all understand the answer of the second question and I hope, I hope you all uh, know that how can you arrange the answer okay so I believe that if you have given attention uh, you can write any answer of any CBQ okay always follow this process okay my dear student so my dear student I already finished uh, the lecture of our today's class so now I will take a short feedback on our to this class. What is Iman Mufassal? What is Iman Mufassal? I hope you all know that answer. So to believe in the basic aspect of Iman or to believe in the basic aspect of Islam in detail is called Iman Mufassal. So what is Iman Mufassal? To believe in the basic aspect of Islam in detail is called Iman Mufassal. How many aspect of Iman Mufassal are there? I feel all know that there are total seven aspect of Iman Mubassal are there. So what is the first aspect of Iman Mubassal? I feel all know that the first aspect of Iman Mubassal is to believe in Allah the Great. What is the first aspect? To believe in Allah the Great is the first aspect of Iman Mubassal. What is called accurate? If you all know that the life after death is called accurate. And what are the stages of accurate? I think you know that what are the stages of accurate? That is graybeard, doomsday, kiyama, hasher, then jannat and jahanna. These are the stages of accurate. Okay. So my dear student, there is a feedback of a today's lecture. So I hope you all understand whatever discussed today. So now let's go to for our homework. So today this is uh, your homework number twenty one. Here you have uh, you have to learn and write 
pretty best question number one that is uh, what is Iman Mupassal? Write the meaning of Iman Mupassal. So please learn this question and answer at your home and then write and submit it to your subject teacher. Okay? So I hope you all understand about our today's homework. Clear? So my dear student, I hope you understand what I discussed in our today's lecture. So everyone please do some study at your home and learn whatever we discussed today. And thank you so much for your cooperation and for watching my class. So see you again in my class and Allah Hafiz, Assalamu Alaikum, take care, God bless you.